Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm gonna make my zucchini oats. I have been eating this every morning if you've been watching my Snapchat. So I finally have the time to film the recipe. It's pretty high volume, it's delicious. And, and trust me, when you watch me like do this, you'll probably be like, it looks disgusting. Cause trust me, I looked at it and I was like, this is gross, I'm not gonna like this, no way. Like as I was making it, but when it comes all together, it comes out really good. So I'll make this and hopefully you enjoy this recipe. microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds allow it to cook the egg to cook and you'll have to like mix it up and then put it back in for like 45 seconds at a time until you see all the egg has cooked but I want to show you guys what it looks like how pretty it looks before I mix it up so I put that in and then I'll show you that and then I'm gonna um, do a lot of things add almond butter crunchy barney butter almond butter you guys know I love this one there's no oil like you buy it and no oil just perfect and great macro so I'll put that on top and I'll have alright so this is what it looks like after it's been heated up I've added in some almond butter I'm gonna heat it again for probably another minute breakfast I'll show you here in a second uh, so it's all out of the microwave it looks exactly the same I just microwaved it for another minute and I'm eating the turkey bacon with it I have two ounces of Canadian style uncurried turkey bacon and Jesse's eating eggs, cheese, and breakfast sausage. So say hey Jess. Um, she took an Uber ride for the first time. How was your first experience? It was fun. It was not that bad. Yeah, so she did her first Uber ride. And what did the guy say about me? Oh, he said that my sister looks fat and I wish it, and then he said, I wish I had those abs. And I didn't even know until now, so we were just laughing about that, but that was pretty funny. So we're gonna sit and eat breakfast. I have to answer more check-ins, and I'm gonna get my nails done. Jessie's gonna get her eyebrows done, and we're just gonna get stuff done today. Happy Saturday, guys. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. All right, so we are off to get our nails done. Just gonna get her eyebrows done. I think yeah. we already told you that. I haven't got my nails done in probably like two or three months. Like, am I even a girl? <laughs> I, like my nails are so gross and I really, really just need to get them done and all cleaned up. So we're gonna drop coffee off to my dad. He's working today, so we're gonna stop by and give him a hug and a kiss mm -hmm. and give him coffee because he loves coffee. Yeah. So maybe I'll get a coffee after two. Yeah. All right, so I just did a bunch of programs. It's about 12 o'clock. We eat breakfast around 9.30, 10 o'clock. So we'll probably eat our next meal around three, two, two, three o'clock. Okay. So Jesse's over there doing Snapchat pictures of me, all ugly looking, with those crazy Snapchat faces. And I just had ground turkey and asparagus, and I'm eating 
some rice cakes with cream cheese and jelly, editing YouTube videos and working on programs. This is how glamorous my life is on Saturdays. This is her, this is her videoing me with my ugly face. Ugly Snapchat, what is with that? All right, so I'm about to have my meal for the day. I'm gonna have my pumpkin cake and I'm gonna top it with 38 grams of this fat-free Greek yogurt ice cream. All right, so it is din din time. This is my dad's salad, my salad, salmon. I made scallop wrapped in bacon for my dad. He's got six here. My mom's got turkey meatballs with asparagus and mushrooms, and my sister here has a salad. I know, and I have turkey mushrooms. And turkey meatballs, too. Turkey meatballs, too. Hello. I'm um, excited to eat dinner. Always excited to eat dinner. I don't have my popcorn after, and she wants to be in the video. Yeah. No ice cream bowl today, but the ice cream is really, really good on top of the protein pumpkin cake. So definitely saw that. Try that one time. Definitely a new staple because those macros for the Greek yogurt, like the froyo, is really good. All right. So did did did. It's about almost nine o'clock. All right, so we are off to my grandpa's church. My grandpa passed away two years ago, and it's my mom's dad, and it was a very, very, very tragic death. I mean, not, not tragic, like tragic to the family. He had lung cancer, and he was very uncomfortable when he died, and we were all like, greatly affected by it for a while, And because um, he was just a great guy. So there is a church today dedicated to him, and I don't normally go to church, to be honest with you guys, spiritual like inside but I don't necessarily go to church like if there's other churches my parents go to or my sister goes to that are like Christian or Catholic like I'll just go to whatever like I'm not biased any religion so I just think any type of way to get people together is fine it's all it's all good for me so we're off to do that I have Jess in the car with me and I'm following my mom and it's almost it was daylight savings last night, so it really feels like 8 o'clock in the morning. But it's 9.30 in the morning, and um, and I wanna, I'll want go to the church, and then I'll come back, and I'll have my breakfast. Love you, Sammy. Love you, too. Guys, look at these pancakes. Like, look how pretty they are. So I'm gonna eat these delicious pancakes and do some work on my laptop. It's Sunday morning, it's just me here. Everybody went out to breakfast and hung out at my grandma's house, but I've got work to do and I was glad I got to meet the mats. Um, glad I got to be there for my grandma because it was my grandma's husband who passed away. So that was uh, really nice to be able to go. I never am able to go to my grandma's house because I'm always so busy, but I made the time this morning and I felt like it was really important to be there. So eat breakfast and get to my work. All right, so we are off to the gym. It's almost 4.30 and this day is like killing me. I feel like daylight savings just like ruined my whole day because it's just going by too fast. It's already Sunday and I yes. feel like my whole weekend's gone, right? Like, it yeah. just went by, like, super fast. Um, getting a lot of things done, sent out, like, more programs. All I do is sit on my laptop. I love sitting on my laptop, though. Don't I, like, never get up? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's okay. I love what I do, and I'm so happy to do it. I'm just going to get in a good, like, session. I don't want to bring my phone with me just because I just want to focus and just put in a good session. I have my pre-workout, creatine, Jessie has her BCAs, I have my BCAs too, and we're about to rock legs. Yes. All right, this is my post-workout meal. I have 30 grams of this cream cheese. I have zucchini noodles, 150 grams, one whole egg. 
and I got a piece of bread under there with cream cheese as well. So it's like 30 grams of cream cheese all together. I'm about to pop this yolk. All right, so it's din din time. There's my mommy and my sister. Hello. My mom is making pasta for my dad and a salad for herself. And I am making the pizzas, as you can see. There we go. Pizzas for me and my sister. I'm gonna eat, of course, my salad with it. I am so hungry. Training today was ridiculous, so. And, um, no, that's not it. That's not it, that's not it. All right, so this morning I'm having breakfast with my dad. Hey, hey. Hi. He's having pancakes and sausage. Over there, they look good. <laughs> and um, I'm having my zucchini oats topped with 24 grams of almond butter. And I'm having Canadian style uncurred turkey bacon with it. Hey guys, sorry I look late, but uh, I need to put makeup on. But uh, I'm having for a post workout, I'm having my pumpkin cake and 14 grams of this the popcorn that I've been eating. It's really good. It's not that high in sodium, pretty low calories, and it tastes good. So I don't like to eat popcorn and just tastes like air. It tastes really good, it has a good flavor, and it's like not too heavy. So I definitely like that. And there's Jess Jess. Hi. She's eating um, ranch veggie chips, veggie straws or whatever. Uh, we had a great upper body session today, went really heavy and just pushed through, and then we did hit incline sprints. Hi! Hey guys, so it is almost midnight. It is Monday, I don't know, March 13th, 14th, one of those days. Uh, we had a great upper body session today. Me and my sister just went heavy. You know, do it, we do heavy upper body days, it's about five to eight reps maximum for every exercise. So always trying to like go up and wait and challenge myself and I'm getting better with the barbell rows. I don't know if you've been following my snap, but I have been talking about, I do not like doing a barbell rows, but I've been trying to really improve my strength with them while keeping good form. So it's been um, good to like get a good progression with them. So I'm like always trying to like challenge myself and I keep doing them because I want to see myself do better at them. So it just gives you like sort of an incentive when you like know that you have to improve on something. So, and I was also talking to my coach, um, Paul, earlier today and it just got me thinking about like my upcoming shows and really like what I want to do from here. And I just originally thought I wanted to like go right into a national show, do junior nads and that show I was doing. And I feel like last year I just competed all year and I was just ready to just compete and get lean and get right back on stage. But I want to bring a very strong and improved package. Um, I want to feel super, super confident and something super different. Super, I'll say super again. <laughs> something that people haven't seen before. Something that shocks people. Not in the sense um, that it has been the best or anything, but the fact that I came in different and worked really hard to come in with a, a well improved physique with quality muscle and time well spent in the training. So again, when I train, I don't train for a competition. I train for myself. I train to be a better athlete. I train to improve my performance and I train for mental health. Mental health in a sense where I improve mentally and feel better about myself and feel better about the decisions I'm making, feel better about the relationships I have, um, just seeing myself progress to a level that I never thought I could. So it definitely helps you get through like even some tough times, even when like you're going through, like I went through many tough times, I've shared with you. And I really found that staying consistent with my training and eating has got me through those tough times. So. Overall, just I want to improve 
everything my mind my body and I'm taking it really like one day at a time but as far as national shows go I'm pushing it off to USA's at this point so it may change uh, I have like four weeks to decide I'm 18 weeks out right now so I have like four weeks to decide if I really want to do USA's but currently I have a lot of clients and I have a lot of bikini clients who I absolutely love like love them to death and I find a lot of satisfaction in seeing them do well at their shows. They have shows lined up. They have national shows lined up. So if it means them getting their pro card because I need to spend more time on them and less on myself, I want to do that because I find more satisfaction in seeing their successes. Even though um, I'm never going to give up my training, never going to give up like my food or anything, my body, I will just keep growing and building from there. I just haven't made like the definite decision of which natural show I'm going to do. So I, again, like they come first to me in my heart. I want to just see the best for them. And as a coach, that's what makes me happy and that's what I want to do in the long term. Um, competing will only last you for so long. And even though I am young, it's like I can compete until like I'm 30 something and I still have like 10 or something years like um, to get up on stage, yes. But in the long term, I want to be like somebody who's like 35, 40 and still coaching and seeing my girls and even guys. Hopefully I'll get to the point where I have guys competing. But uh, doing well on stage and seeing them like happy and that's what makes me happy. Like when I get client emails, like I get excited because I like to see them like progress and be excited about their progress and ultimately I find so much happiness in that. So I mean again like if it works out where I can can prep for nationals and things work out and I can still keep my focus on them and make sure they're okay then it's fine and I'll do nationals I'll do USA's but I'm sort of just seeing playing it out I have a few girls like competing coming up and if they want to do nationals or whatever well just I'm taking it like week by week I just want to see like how much focus they need so before I again commit to something well, I just want to talk about that, and I'm probably going to get to bed soon. <laughs> bed soon is almost like midnight, and I just wanted to just like talk to you guys. I know I'm like talking to the camera, but I really feel like I could be super personable and just tell you how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. And I appreciate any feedback if you guys like had any thoughts. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna get some rest, and tomorrow we're hitting losing hamstrings again my body is like covered in bruises from sunday's training so we'll see i'm not gonna do hip thrust again i don't know if you guys saw my instagram video but um, my body is covered in bruises from those hip thrusts so i'm gonna have to invest in a better pad to um work my way up in in hip thrust so i'm just gonna have to purchase one on amazon but it feels, feels good to get the weight up i know i have the strength to get there so i just need like better equipment to do so guys enjoyed it hey guys good morning it is Friday morning I'm here with my mom she's in back she doesn't want to be on the camera but um, I'm off to train my client Priya I haven't trained with her in a while so I'm excited to see her it is food shopping day great day when it's food shopping day and um, I have so many programs sent out, so I have a lot of work to do on my laptop. And let's get Friday started. All right, so it is breakfast time, and I just got back from training. My mom made her breakfast. What do you got? Sausage and cheese, egg white omelet. That looks really good. Look at this. It's yummy. And I got my pancakes. I'm on like a five-day pancake streak. We're going to sit down and eat breakfast. She's got work to do, and I've got work to do. Always a good day when it's food shopping day when you can you. stock up on everything. So maybe we'll find some new find this week. Maybe we will. Yeah. But um, of course we'll be like hawking the whole um, supermarket and trying to save. So let's do this. Yeah. Another Friday, another food grocery haul. We spend the most time in the cookie and cereal aisle because we love looking at cookies and Oreos and we just like read all the nutrition labels and try to see which we can get for like the best macros.
here we go. Here we go. Time to empty the groceries. The worst part. Tons of water. Jess, don't you hate this part? Yes, I hate this part. <laughs> but we got all our food. So I am off to the gym. No Jess Jess today again. She's going to movies with some of her friends, which I'm happy about. So she gets the chance to hang out with her friends. Um, unfortunately, my friends are on the West Coast. So it's like really difficult. And I'm just going to go to the gym. And I'm gonna hit shoulders and arms today and do my cardio because I didn't do cardio this morning since I was training Priya. And it's just, I had to go for grocery shopping, answer emails, so it's really hard to like get that cardio in and um, find time to do all that too. So I just combine it usually on Fridays. I'll do some hit sprints on the treadmill. And I would like to end it with some battle ropes today, so hopefully that won't be used. And I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna bring my camera with me. Uh, it's, I can't like video there. Uh, obviously because Jesse's not there because of exercises, but hopefully I can like sneak in some videos like just like talking to you guys through the workout and as much as I can. If not though, I will like run through some of it for you. Okay, it's Friday. It's four o'clock. Let's get this done. All done. I finished with hit sprints. I did a 6.5 incline. I went up to a 8.7 speed. So I did 30 second sprint and then one minute of rest. And I did battle ropes. So I did double hand and then sideways. Um, if you guys look at my previous battle rope workout, you'll see like how it works like with me doing it sideways. But um, great way to like end like a shoulder and arms day. And it was a good workout. It was just me. So it was like it's oh it's good to have somebody like when you're like, like um, lifting really heavy and like having like a, a spotter and stuff so I just miss Jess for that but like shoulders and arms day I can handle and um, sometimes you just need to be by yourself and get focused but of course I love her to death and um, do, always miss her so um, I'm gonna head home eat post-workout meal I haven't eaten since two so it's almost six and I'm starving <laughs> All right, so for post-workout, I'm having this sea salt caramel popcorn I just got today, and two ounces of chicken breast, so post-workout. Alright, so my mom and I are off to look for dresses. My aunt is going to be getting married in May, so we're going to go dress shopping. <laughs> going to the mall. <laughs> Hold it up. Can't wait to see how she looks in it. This is her first look. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's a pretty color. You look good, mommy. So it is Saturday morning and I am on a seven day streak of eating pancakes. Yummy. I trained my client Priya this morning. We did some back and shoulder stuff and it's about 10 o'clock so I'm gonna eat breakfast and then spend some time on my laptop. There's my dad in the background and we're gonna have breakfast together. He's off from work to get it today. Say hey dad. Hi. All right, so we just got our hair did. My mom got her hair blown out. Uh -huh. <laughs> it look nice, and I got mine blown out straight. So, sh you look good? You like I, it? Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> it's for Palm Sunday tomorrow, so we're going to Redstone as a family, and we got our hair done. <laughs> All right. So it is Saturday night, and me and mom are on our laptops doing our work. And my mom did something pretty cool with her work. You should definitely look and check it out. <laughs> I'm a programmer analyst on how to build a dashboard. So this is my first dashboard that I built. I'm gonna, my second I'm gonna zoom in. 
She yeah. developed this. She created this herself. This is a drill down. And this is a report. So excited. Yeah. Can't wait till it goes to production. What company is this for? Chubb Isis. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm such a hard worker. <laughs> Say bye bye. And I'm doing my emails. Since I was really under a macros from being so busy, I had 28 grams of popcorn. And then for my second part of my dessert, I had some ice cream, Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, and peanut butter. All right, you're probably like, what's on my chin? I was making sausage for my dad and the oil like splattered on my chin and I put immediately but put butter on it because the butter helps heal any burns immediately. So I'm holding, putting butter on my chin. It's about almost 2.30. I had my first meal around 9.30, so that's a pretty big gap. But I've been on my laptop all morning, it's Sunday, and I have nobody here, everybody's out, so I have nobody to train legs with today, which I'm pretty upset about. I tried to like put on Snapchat, like if anybody is in the area, let me know, and be my training partner today, because I like to go heavy on Sundays, um, but I like to have a spotter. Anyways, I'm gonna probably eat lunch now, and hit the gym, and then I have some more work to do later on, and hopefully get to more YouTube stuff this, like tonight and this week because during the weekend, Friday, Sunday, it's just all client stuff and that's all I have time for on my laptop. But anyways, I have some chicken making in the oven the, down there and his sausage is made with a burnt chin. So hopefully this heals pretty quickly. And um, yeah, so really like yesterday was a low carb day and I felt pretty good like during it, but like today, like my digestive system is like on full blast um, from that low carb day and feeling really good, super lean, and everything I eat is just passing like through and it's just, it's pretty gross, but you know, like I probably went like at least five times already and still feel like I can go. I don't know, like yesterday, Put me in like some sort of like weird thing with my metabolism so anyways feels good and um i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna eat because i'm pretty hungry and i can't be waiting to video me for the gym but i'll video probably tomorrow or something i'm definitely gonna drag her ass <laughs> all right i'll check back in after hey guys happy monday so it is monday march 18th, 19th, 21st, and starting the morning off with some pancakes. I trained Priya this morning. We did some glute work, and I had posted some of the exercises on my Snapchat, so she did a really great job, and it was um, it's fun like being back on more regimen training with her. She's like such a pleasure. And Jess, Jess has I have two sausages and hash browns with ketchup. With ketchup. So we're gonna eat breakfast, I'm gonna get to plans. I have a lot of new people starting up this week, so starting up Monday morning with um, all new plans being made for the upcoming week, so they'll be able to start. So a lot of work to get done, and she's gonna do her work, so yeah. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. All right, so we are off to the gym now. We're gonna go train some upper body. It's around 4.30. And we still have to do cardio, so we're gonna probably be there till seven. Yes. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a long night with, <laughs> with training, but packing my pre-workout, creatine, BCAAs, you know the drill, and we are off. <laughs> and Delso. We're off to the gym. All right, so for post-workout, I'm having 48 grams of the Trader Joe's Jasmine rice, one whole egg, zucchini noodles with two slices of cheese, and a little bit of asparagus. So this is what it looks like. Something different, guys.
Overall, training has been going very well these past few days. I haven't had much video for you guys, but definitely going to get more video. I'm sorry this vlog is pretty jumbled up. I was very, very busy with client stuff, and a lot of people are starting up, so which is a good thing, but again, I want to keep YouTube update as well. So overall, great workouts, a lot of energy, I have a lot of food, and just excited always to train and improve.